Welcome back to Cyber City of Galilee, DSMME. Sister Mercedes, would you tell us about our saint today, please? Well, today is a feast to St. Francis Xavier Cabrini. And she's actually a pretty big saint for the two places that she's kind of relevant from. She's actually the first canonized American citizen. Wow. Pretty awesome. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But notice how I said American citizen. She's actually not born in America. She's uh -huh. from Italy, Cabrini. Ah. Uh -huh. So she was originally from Italy, and she was a little bit sickly, but she knew she always wanted to be a sister. And she couldn't enter for a little while, but she ended up having a different community, and she founded the Missionaries of the Sacred Heart. Ah, oh, beautiful. She was one of those saints that had the great desire to be a missionary, right? So thus she took the name Francis Xavier, to bring oh. St. Francis Xavier, the great Jesuit mm. missionary. But... She hadn't yet gotten her missions to where she wanted to go, which is China. And if you think about it, there are a lot of great saints who actually really want to be missionaries. Another one would be St. Therese of Lisieux, mm -hmm. <laughs> who was a cloistered Carmelite. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. Um, so she actually went to Pope Leo XIII, whom I love, by the way. Mm -hmm. Pope Leo XIII he's a, does not get as much credit as he deserves. He has Catherine Drexel, Francis Cabrini, Rowan Navarro, St. Michael Prayer after Mass. He's pretty amazing. Yeah, anyway. he truly is. That's true. <laughs> he really did a lot to shape the church today, which is very awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but she went to Pope Leo the 13th and she said, I would like to bring my sisters to be a missionary in China. Because she wanted to go to the Far East. They said, look west. So, excuse me. But anyway, it's so beautiful because he knew the needs in America. Mm -hmm. They were missionary needs in America because at the time, it was the late um, 1800s, early 1900s, and that there's so many immigrants, particularly Italian immigrants, coming to the United States at the time. So he wanted her to go and minister to them because they too needed the gospel. They needed mm. that, that help from bringing Christ to them in their time of need as becoming immigrants in the United States. So that's what she did. So she became an immigrant to the United States, but she came bringing Christ specifically with that missionary zeal and that missionary formation. Hmm. So that was a beautiful thing that she did. Most of all, in the beginning, focused in New York. So she actually is pretty, like, a big saint in New York. So we have Elizabeth Ann Seaton and we have Francis Cabrini, which is pretty great, actually. Mm -hmm. Seaton was the first canonized American saint. So and do you really was, like New York or something, sister? I know. I just love it. New York is the best place, the best And why would you say so? Ever, because I'm from there. There and, you go. <laughs> and New Yorkers, New Yorkers are notorious for really loving New York. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I really, really love New did York. Did you say notorious like or obnoxious? What did she say? <laughs> <laughs> A little about that works. Yeah, I might fall into the categories, but I do love everybody. <laughs> ah, beautiful sister, and thank you for telling us about someone who preceded your family mm -hmm. from another country over yes. to the United States, and particularly to New York. Yes. God bless. Signing off for Cyber City Galley, DSMMA. Look west, because she wanted to go to the And he said, how about look east, west? <laughs> I'm so bad, I'm so bad, you see? That's what happened.